There is a verse in the Bible that I love very much. It has meant a great deal to me. It is in the book of Joel, in the second chapter, and it is that the Lord, it says, I, the Lord, will restore the years that the locust hath eaten. Perhaps many of us have had those years, uh, troubling years, uh, perhaps an unhappy marriage, an unsuccessful business, uh, just a time in your life where you felt things weren't going well, perhaps you took a wrong turn that you regret. Well, in this statement, God is promising that he will restore those years when you turn wholeheartedly to him and change your course. I can remember having many such experiences during my life. Uh, one I was thinking of was uh, I, had a, I had a brother. He, he wasn't in science, but anyway, for various reasons, we saw very little of each other. And then one day I, I got the news that he had passed on. It uh, was rather abrupt, and also he really wasn't very old. It was quite a shock to me. And I, I felt devastated at that moment because I had always thought, well, he and I would re reunite sometime and have, have time together, but I felt like this had now been taken from me. So after I kind of recovered and prayed, first of all, I knew in, in science we learn that there really is no death, that there is life. And though people pass from our experience, they live, they live on. Uh, they are with God. And if we mourn, we mourn for ourselves. I also knew that uh, he knew that I loved him. And I certainly knew that he loved me. And there could be no separation. And I left it with God. And I got over this sense of feeling that I had lost time with him. Well, years later, it turned out that he had, has a son, two sons actually, but one in particular that God brought into my life and that I have been able to help and spend time with. And I'm so grateful for that. And when it began to happen, and it happened very naturally, it wasn't anything I particularly sought out, I thought, well, God is restoring the years that the locusts have eaten. Perhaps maybe I didn't spend that some time later with my brother as I had wanted, wished I could have. But now I was spending time with his son and helping his son. And it was a very wondrous thing. And it was proof that God does restore the years that the locusts have eaten. It might come in, in different ways, but it will come. And as the reading said tonight, sometimes we need to be patient. But... God is a good God, and he loves us. And when we think of these times of trial, sometimes we think how long it just has gone on for, for so long. Well, when you think that we're going to be here for eternity, those times are really nothing but a flash in the pan. So I would like to conclude. This is from Kimball's uh, Lectures and Articles. Edward Kimball was an early worker who knew Mrs. Eddy well, and he was a lecturer. He spoke on Christian science, and in those days, he would speak to thousands of people. They couldn't contain them in the churches because there were so many, when Mrs. Eddy was here, that were hungering for this truth. He says in one of his lectures, There is no law against you if you mourn, if you have been cast down because of disease, Know this, there positively is no law against you, and moreover, know this still further, that you are entitled to enforce the law of your own life. You are entitled to enforce the law of your own health, of your own prosperity. You can do it. You can learn to do it. It is within the confines within the divine provision concerning your very life, your daily needs. Be not afraid. You may be a law unto yourself, 
a law to your recovery from disease, a law to your business, a law of harmony to your welfare and your household, and all things of your life. Because God gave man dominion, and you are entitled to it. In this very hour, you are entitled to be a law of recovery to your own self. I thank God for Christian science. I thank God for this way of life that will meet any need you have. Thank God for Mrs. Eddy for giving it to us. Thank God for our service tonight.